Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Hey, what's up guys? Window Joe here. And today we're going to talk about respecting your customers' homes inside and out. Let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to go over is booties. Every time you step into a customer's home, put your booties on. Even if they don't mind if you're not wearing booties, put your booties on. You never know if you happen to step in mud outside or something like that and you bring it inside. But uh, hold yourself to higher standards than other companies are holding themselves to. Another thing, when you guys are inside the home, you really want to make sure that you leave the interior exactly how you came in and seen it. If you open a door, close the door. If you move blinds and shades, put them back. Make sure that you're not hanging out in their gardening. You're not running your hoses through their garden beds. You are lining everything up through the walkways, making sure that none of their shrubs, none of their plants, nothing is being hurt by the systems that you're using. So if you're a traditional guy, don't be throwing ladders in their gardens. Um, you know, if your hose happens to pull a little bit, go make sure where that pulled from. Make sure nothing's being pulled out of the ground. People spend thousands and thousands of dollars a year to make these homes look beautiful. And um, I don't think it's gonna help you if you start destroying that. So be mindful of that. And um, you know, like, like I said earlier, just take pride. Hold yourself to a higher standard. When you're coming in and out of gates, always make sure that you're shutting them. You definitely don't want to be the guy that was at fault for the family dog running away. So if you open a gate, shut the gate. Another thing guys, when you're all done with the water, always reconnect all of their hoses just like you found them. Nice and tight, motor's off, like you were never there. Hey guys, another thing you wanna be aware of while you're inside is drips. So, Obviously, we are working with water and soap all the time, and it's almost, it's almost a guarantee that you're gonna have some drips on the floor. Just make sure that when you guys are done with your cleaning of the window, that you're getting all of the drips that came off of the window. Always give a nice little once around to make sure that you didn't leave any drips on the floor. Another thing you guys want to do is be careful of your surroundings. There could be objects that are just super, super expensive. And uh, you just really want to make sure you're not bumping into anything, knocking anything over. Um, yeah, just pay attention to everything that's around you. And lastly, this is something I do, which, you know, I do it just to be courteous. There's no one home at this house right now, but when I am in a home with the homeowners here, I always let them know where I'm gonna be, what I'm doing, what room I'll be doing it in, just to communicate with them. Basically, 
making them feel super comfortable that I'm in their house. They know what room I'm gonna be in. You're developing that relationship with that customer. So they're gonna want you back and you only because they're so comfortable with you. That's it for today, guys. Those are my tips for respecting your clients' homes inside and out. Let me know if you guys do anything similar in the comment section below. And don't forget to head on over to Window Joe and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed already to the Window Cleaning Resource YouTube channel, do that now. Hit that bell icon so you get your notifications. And we will see you in the next video. Oh,